Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oscar and today I want to talk about the topic of Asian glow. So if you're Asian who gets Asian glow, you'll probably understand my struggle. But if you've never heard of it before, let me explain to you what actually happens in my body when I get Asian glow. In Asian populations, we have inherited deficiency in one of the enzymes that helps us break down alcohol, aldehyde dehydrogenase. It's particularly common in East Asians such as Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. Our symptoms include facial flushing, nausea, headaches, and a fast heart rate. And let me tell you that, they're not very good feelings. Okay, so I'm gonna take one for a team and actually drink tonight. So I actually haven't been drinking for maybe two years now at this point. Um, so, but I just wanna show you guys what it actually looks like and how does it actually affect my body when I drink. Um, so tonight's gonna be a social experiment. So we'll see how the night goes. All right, so there's no better way to show you guys what it looks like when I have Asian glow. But if you look at my face right now, it's completely red. Um, I'm definitely feeling a bit of the headache. Uh, my heart's raising really fast. Um, and it's just generally a pretty interesting feeling. So I'll keep you guys posted on um, how I feel later. Usually I get like the hangover maybe like an hour after. Uh, but yeah, you can, take, you can tell literally my face is really red. My eyes are really bloodshot. So yeah, let's see what happens. Just in case you're wondering how much I drank, I had two shots. Two shots. Alright guys, so right now it's the next morning, so I just want to give you a little recap of my drinking experience last night. Um, so actually, I took two shots of one shot of tequila, one shot of vodka, and then maybe two more shots of soju after that. It actually didn't make me feel that bad. Um, so I actually use one of these ready patches, um, and I'll, I'm not sponsored by them. So, but if you want to sponsor me, please don't sponsor me. So I only use one of them, um, but it actually worked kind of well. I've tried it before, but it didn't work too well before. But yeah, I um, got a bit of the headache. Um, my heart was still racing really fast, but it, I didn't want to puke. I didn't end up puking. And usually, you know, after I drink too, I don't really get a hangover the morning after. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's, I guess it hasn't been too bad this time around. Uh, but usually it's kind of bad what I drink, so. All right, so I wanna talk a little bit about my experience of drinking in college. Um, so drinking honestly was such a huge social thing back in university. And of course you go to parties with your friends and there's always alcohol involved. But you know, being the Asian boy that I am, I would just get Asian glow every time I go to a party and I wouldn't necessarily feel good when I'm drinking. But with all the social peer pressure, and people just telling you to drink all the time, it's a little bit hard for me to say no, especially when you want to, to fit into a certain group um, or you just want to be a part of that experience. I feel like drinking is honestly a problem or something that I've struggled with a lot in university, especially I just wanted to fit in. But at the same time, my body would tell me, no, that this is not something that I want in me. Um, and I just end up getting sick. So I've actually tried different types of remedies before. Um, so something that I've tried um, is these ready, uh, ready patches. Um, they're, they're actually kind of a hit or miss, you know, uh, some, I've had pretty good times on them. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so it's really a luck of a draw. Um, and then, and it's something that I've also tried is Pepsid. Uh, I don't know if you could see it, but um, yeah, Pepsid is pretty common, especially if you Google Asian Glow. Um, usually, Pepsid is the first thing that pops up. Um, it's actually an antihistamine, and I think it actually suppresses a lot of your allergic reactions. Um, so it actually doesn't necessarily get rid of your Asian glow, but it just makes the symptoms not as severe, which is actually worse for your body. And allergic reactions are the things that tell you 
that you're not supposed to do this, the toxin just accumulates in your body and you just get, there's a much higher chance that you might be able to get alcohol poisoning when you're on Pepsi. So, you know, after trying all sorts of remedies, especially after the pandemic, I've decided to cut out alcohol cold turkey. So I just decided that, you know, I could still have so much fun even when I'm sober at a party. Uh, you know, fun to me is not really about the, the substance that you're on, but it's really about the people that you're with and, you know, it's, it's, really, it's really about the vibe. So here are some of the biggest takeaways that I got from not drinking for two to three years now. Obviously, except for this one time that I tried it for for this video. But honestly, there's you know nothing wrong with being sober, and and I can tell you that you can have just as much fun being sober at a party as opposed to being on alcohol. Another thing that I have learned is how can you be the life of the party without alcohol, right? How can you socialize and have small talks with people uh, while being sober? And I think it's almost like a social challenge that you could, you could have with yourself um, and really test out how you could engage in a conversation with someone you don't know but also trying just just being sober and without any of the liquor courage and then the last thing is you know i'm telling you this right now that you know i'm not gonna drink alcohol for the rest of my life but you know there's still a good chance that if for certain occasions i just want to go have a good time with my friends for me when it comes to drinking it's almost like go big or go home um, it's i don't casual drink at all, I don't social drink at all, so it's either I don't drink anything or I get really fucked up and and I just want to have this crazy ass time and just usually it only maybe happens like once a year, maybe twice a year at max. So these are kind of some of the biggest takeaways, you know, if you're someone who is Asian, who gets Asian glow, then you should probably test out your limits and see how much you can actually drink. But if you feel like it's really affecting your body, then you know, actually listen to your body and, and don't drink. Also, it, and it just, it's just better for your body, right? If you decide to drink one day, and that's completely okay, you know, there's still, um, there's not one method that'll help you get rid of your Asian glow, but if you just wanna drink for one night, once in a while, to, to have a good time with your friends, and that's completely okay too, so. At the end of the day, it's up to you if you want to drink or not, but always listen to your body. If your body doesn't want it, it doesn't want it. And you don't want to get cancer either, so. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn on your notification uh, for my new videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.